Museum about American Arts and Culture. We focus on the Southwest. Um, we are now uh, the museum, the preeminent museum of American Indian art and culture. I've been working here since 1998, and I started here as an American Indian student guide. We had a program here for urban Native youth. We fall into this uh, very unique um, stigma that we're locked in a, in a time, you know, and people think of us in past tense. Our work and our artwork and our expression is a, a testament that we're evolving, we're changing with pieces that you might consider more traditional. You'll see very cutting edge, very contemporary pieces, um, which is just a testament in a showing that, you know, these people, are, our people are not locked in this time warp. I think that uh, what we do here is a celebration of that um, and a reverence of it and also it's a part of our healing because a lot of indigenous cultures here, especially in the United States, uh, suffer a very tragic history with the United States and um, in order to not uh, dwell upon that and forever be the victim, you have to move forward and um, art, as we all know, is a vehicle and a very powerful healing mechanism. If you look closely at the paintings, you'll see music represented in them. I think the really cool thing about music is that it's more than just hearing. And um, if you look at <clears throat> the textiles, if you look at the paintings, if you look at the, the depictions of what are being you know, drawn out, painted out, you see the music in it. Our oral history, much of it was not written. So it's passed down through song. So it's of the most importance. So for example, for Navajo people, our traditional, our, our healing ceremonies, our creation stories, it's all sung. It's all in song. And it's the most important thing. Same thing for many other tribes. And so song is the most important thing that there is. When people say, what, why is it important to learn your Native American history and culture? It's actually our Native American history and culture. So if you're from the United States, if you were born in the US, it's not just my history and culture, it's also yours. So it's, there's gotta be an ownership both ways.